a grandmother, mother, artist, writer, and musician, maker of mystical sounding triple chambered ocarina. And I've been singing publicly most of my life, inspired as a child by my mother's beautiful alto voice. Born in 1933, I grew up in Illinois on a farm, a BA in music. After 46 years in the Midwest, three children I moved to Berkeley, California. I have an MA in clinical psychology from JFK University, began profound sacred journey into the sacred feminine as music, art, and writing poured forth, heralding the return of the sacred feminine. She interviews women who are concerned about life on Women's Voices, a radio station in Northern California. Janie is a musician, and now we're going to enjoy hearing her. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you. I am happy and honored to be here with all of you. This is kind of a dream come true. This is the ocarina I make. Um, this one's a triple chambered. It plays three tones at once. flesh, sharing our wisdom and our energy, gathering together as like-minded sisters and brothers, all in the service of the mother, all loving this earth and her creatures, and all outraged by the grip of evil patriarchy with its clear intent to destroy life on earth. In honor of my mother, I sing my home in Illinois. I walk on the land where I spent my childhood and listen to the wind moving through the corn while memories come flooding back of days I used to know there and then I know I'm home. My dad farmed the land. I would drive the tractor. silent partners. We love the land, our home. My home in Illinois is calling to me, calling to me, calling to me. My home in Illinois is calling to me, calling to me, come home. I hear my mother's voice humming in the kitchen. Oh. 
colors in the rainbow. And in her heart, there was a song. sacred feminine of mother and child for thousands of years in spite of patriarchy. The image is embedded in our DNA, Ode to the Mother. We sail through stormy seas, holding on. and our mother's guidance, we, her daughters, turn this ship around. And as the newest species on planet Earth, let us remind those who have forgotten how to live to show some respect to our elder, non-human sisters and brothers.
of Awakening began 30 years ago, I read John Lilly's book, The Center of the Cyclone, an autobiography of, of inner space. In the book were affirmations designed to help expand one's consciousness. One of them went, Within the province of the mind, what I believe to be true is true or becomes true within the limits to be found through experience, mine, and experiment, mine. These limits are beliefs to be transcended. Within the province of the mind, what I believe to be true is true or becomes true within the limits to be found through my experience, and my experiment. These limits are beliefs to be transcended, to open our minds and psyches to a deeper realm, which is greatly facilitated by our mother's sacred medicine. So the ground of my mind was being plowed in order to receive and experience new, beyond my belief system, information. This is all about awakening to the mother within. Her wisdom, her voice that has been waiting to come forth. We are in a time like none other. As Jean Houston says, we all have the extraordinary coded within us waiting to be released. The following beautiful words are not mine. Reverend. In order to become attentive to the lovely notion of beauty, we need to develop the art of reverence. Ultimately, reverence is respect before, before mystery. But it is more than an attitude of mind. It is also a physical attention of the body that shows that the sacred is already here. And reverence is not to be reduced to social posture. Reverence is deeper than that. Reverence is the companion of humility. And when we enter into reverence, we are what aware of the deep beauty of the heart of things. Our modern consumer mindset has squandered all reverence. And that's why it is so loathsome. Earth weaving, working, creating conditions that support life, adjusting to maintain atmosphere and temperature, elements, fire, pulsing through veins, boiling up from the floor, erupting, cloud covers, salt seas, cleansing rain, the geology of bones and silky soil, earth, mortal mother, embryo earth, sun rain. The human embryo goes through all the stages of evolution in the womb and back through the seed and need of every ancestor, back, way back, before even life formed, to matter, mother, mom, empty. And then music of the womb, the soft murmurs of underground streams, the quick pulse of an infant's heart, beating in syncopation with the slower, stronger beat of the mother's heart. Bloods of blood rush through her arteries and stream through what their veins. Listen to me, hear me. Listen to me and hear me. I am the one who is with you now. my way. 
held fast on our mother's lap. We know her love will be revived. That all who hear rejoice again. We rise up to the call. Confronting evil with the truth. We open the door for all. forget the words of Lema Bowie of Liberia. It's time for women to stop being politely angry. I add, it's time for us to ground ourselves in our power from the mother, and when we speak, mean business. I end with the last verse of my song, We'll Feast in the Valley, where all is revealed. And I apologize, my voice is fading. Thank <laughs> you.